sustained beating if you were the uh, San Antonio Spurs that night. You really, and I think you had three members, three starters, of, yeah, yeah, three starters around the lineup that night. So that was uh, that was that was difficult to take in. Yep, 107-99 Rockets lost to Portland two nights ago. Third quarter made all the difference, 28 to 14 in favor of the Blazers. Rockets were three of 29 from three point range, 64 to 95 points in the paint. And that's really good, but. You have to rely on the three ball as well because, as we know in the NBA, it's about in the paint and threes. And the second three-pointer and third, those two did not come until the fourth quarter each. You were, I think, one of 21 through three quarters. Crazy. So that's that's about as anemic as it's going to get from the perimeter. So the Rockets had three three three-pointers. The Blazers had 13. Meanwhile, San Antonio played in Mexico City against Miami and uh, lost to the uh, Miami Heat. 13 lead changes and two ties. The uh, uh, Heat outscored San Antonio 31 to 17 in the third in the fourth quarter, as Miami made 51 percent of their shots, 11 threes as compared to 10 for San Antonio. Spurs had a fast break advantage of 19 to nine. There again, unlike most of the teams in the NBA, they don't and haven't really even during the championship year. Greg Popovich really relied on the three point shot. They famously took mid range shots uh, during the. The peak of this NBA inside-outside style of play. Right. Uh, really bucking the trend. Spurs in the white uniforms tonight, trimmed in gray and black. Rockets in the black uniforms, trimmed in red with white lettering across the front. Second of four meetings between these two teams. They are foes within the Southwest Division. Great to have you with us here on Rockets Radio. Shangoon and Pirtle the jump circle and on the second tap it's won by San Antonio. Trey Jones has the basketball moving from right to left as we see things here in the first quarter of play. Trey Jones top to Vassell who didn't play the first go around nor did uh, Pirtle. Out right side Trey Jones going to launch a three front iron miss. Weak side rebound is last touch by I believe Jalen Green will be out of bounds to San Antonio. Jones shoots 29% from three. You can let him take those as many as he wants. <laughs> Although he had a career high 26 against the Rockets in San Antonio earlier this year. Pearl underhand toss to Jones out right side of the floor. Kate evades Diop, giving it to Vassell. Vassell turned back at the right elbow, 15 foot jumper on the way good in front of Jabari Smith, and it's 2 0 San Antonio. Across the timeline comes Kevin Porter Jr., two ways right for Aaron Gordon. Gordon lobs it into Jabari. Jabari is going to pull up. Long 18 footer up the back heel. Rebound picked up by Jones. Only San Antonio player in the paint. Jones, the top of the key to the right elbow, and then hands it off. Down the lane. Floater. Romeo Langford missed the shot, but he'll get free throws here. Looks like Adam, they are not afraid to attack the glass here and the paint early for San Antonio offensively. Well, that's what happened the other night with the Blazers, although the Rockets were doing it right back because some of those uh, outside shots weren't falling, but. Uh, Damian Lillard was just absolutely wreaking havoc and driving and dishing. Langford had a stomach illness earlier on this trip. He's okay now to go, and he missed the free throw, giving him now 16 to 24 from the line. Two nothing. It remains a San Antonio lead with 11:05 remaining in the first quarter. I'm old enough to remember when two nothing would be an entire quarter's worth of offense between these two teams back in the 2000s. <laughs> that was a dark time of the NBA. Yeah, Free throw for Langford, good. 3 nothing. Stellar defense. Scoot right forecourt out to Gordon. He'll launch a three. Comes off the front iron. Missed shot rim. Results in a Yaka Pernal rebound. Trey Jones out left-hand side. Here's Vassell for a left corner three. He'll hit. Great start for San Antonio at 6 nothing. Vassell, by the way, shoots 40%. One of the few three-point shooters that does well. Shangu at the free throw line, hands it to Green, layup attempt coming up. That's going to hang on the rim and finally drop. And the Rockets have their first points at 10-34, remaining in first quarter play, 6-2 San Antonio. Jones left to right around the arc, lobbed to Pirtle at the free throw line. In the paint, turns and spins, 10-footer strong. Ball tipped up by Pirtle, saved back left corner. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Kevin Porter Jr. He's upset with that. Josh Chibben, the crew chief over there, to hand the ball off to Romeo Langford. A lot of jaw early on, it looks like, and Josh is telling him to chill out. Langford on the inbound near the San Antonio bench. To his right to Pirtle, to his right to Trey Jones, and to his right to the...
Screen by Pirtle. Vassell's got it. Free throw line. Out right side angle. Down the lane. Floater on the way for Trey Jones. Is up and in. And it's 8-2 to two now in favor of San Antonio. Trey Jones with his first basket of the game. Coming in at 12.5 points per contest. Green bounce pass to Shingun. Goes up with the right hand. He is fouled by Pirtle. And there's that matchup we were talking about. And I want Shingun to be as that, that, is, is that aggressive every single time down the floor. Because... He's got the skill set to, to make a guy like Pearl get into his own foul trouble here. Pearl with the whistle. That's the first one against San Antonio. Shangun with a free throw make, 80% on the year coming in. Shangun also with 26 blocks so far this year, averaging one a game. He's had six blocks in his last four games. I'm doing a whole lot of scoring in that Portland game with just 10 points and eight rebounds. Comes in averaging 14 and 9. Free throw for Shangun is on the way and in. 8 to 4 in favor of San Antonio. 9.55 remaining in the first quarter. Jones lobs to Pirtle. Down the lane goes Jakob Pirtle. Layup in the right hand through the window and he'll score. He was looking to dump it off to Vassell and thought better of it and said, I'll take it myself. 10 to 4. Pirtle with his first basket. Green to the paint. Layup attempt for uh, Shingun is no good. Rebound off the miss by Pirtle. In front to Trey Jones on the trade of Bayet's Diop. Baseline right. Vassell three pointer. Got it. 13 to 4. And Vassell has his second three pointer in this first quarter. Yeah, Vassell has really given the Rockets some issues on the perimeter early on here. Trying to go around a screen is Kevin Porter Jr. All sorts of contact. It's Romeo Langford. And Langford picks up the whistle. Second foul against Spurs and first foul against Romeo Langford. Langford out of the basketball powerhouse on his Nebraska. Between the rings, it's green. Screen set by Shingun. Hand it off. Pick and roll comes. And a nice dunk with the right hand for Alperin Shingun. Got the screen and uh, got the assist to JG. 13 to 6 now. 8.52 remaining in the first. Trey Jones right at the paint. Comes out three point line right. Top to Pirtle. In the paint he is. He'll turn, he'll twist, and he'll trap it. That's one of the few things that has gone the Rockets' way here in the early going because the offense just has not been there at the pace that you would like. And uh, with the turnovers on top of it, for the San Antonio Spurs to give you a free possession is something of a bonus. Yeah, Spurs come in averaging 16 turnovers a game. That's 26 in the association. Rockets are dead last at 18. Down the lane goes Scoot in the paint, kicks it off out right baseline to Jabari, who lost the basketball to their steal, this time in the hands of Yaka Pirtle on the deflection. Vassell goes diagonal left to right to Trey Jones, back to Vassell. Vassell down the lane, kick it out right side. Kata Bates Diop for a three ball. That is on the way and good. And they are burying the Rockets from three. A uh, timeout is going to be called by Stephen Salas. It comes at 8-14, remaining in the first quarter of play. The Rockets have seen the Spurs make three out of four from three. The Rockets have only taken one three-point shot. It was a miss by Eric Gordon. And it's a 16-6 lead for San Antonio. 8-14, remaining in first quarter play. Timeout brought to you by Corona Extra. Invite you to find your beach. And now these words from your local station. Your Houston Astros leveled up this season and won the World Series. And the Houston Astros do it again. World Series champion. Stop by the Astros Union Station team store to pick up your World Series champion jerseys, T-shirts, hats, and commemorative items to celebrate the Astros' second World Series title. The Astros team store has everything you need to shop for that special someone during the holiday season. Stop by Monday through Saturday for the latest Astros merchandise. Or visit astros.com slash team store to learn more. Gray Mallard to here for eBay Motors. Okay, easy now. You're teaching a kid how to parallel park. Ouch! <laughs> Turns out he likes to do it by feel. <laughs> Don't worry, eBay Motors has bumpers, taillights, trunk lids, license plate holders, 122 million parts. Pull up just a little bit. And headlights. <laughs> They've got lots of headlights. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors. Let's ride. Hey, it's Jan from Toyota, reminding you that Toyotathon is on and here to help make your holidays extra magical. How? 
Maybe it's driving in a Tacoma in search of the perfect hill to sled down. Or surprising loved ones in a RAV4 hybrid. You made it! <laughs> and seeing their faces light up when you pull up to their home. Dealer inventory may vary. Current offers on these vehicles end November 30th. Offers are subject to change throughout Toyotathon, which ends on January 3rd. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Toyota, let's go places. When I'm looking to get in on some action, DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the Houston Rockets, is always giving me a shot to win big with their daily fantasy contest. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code ROCKETS. This week, new customers can get a free shot at a share of millions in total prizes with your first deposit. Only at DraftKings with code ROCKETS. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Give the gift of Rockets basketball this holiday season with the all-new Rockets Holiday Packs, the ultimate gift for the Rockets fan in your life. Packages start at five games for just $55. You pick your seats, you pick your games. The first 100 purchasers tonight will receive a Kendra Scott necklace as well. Purchase tonight at Rockets.com. Three of four shooting from long range for the Spurs has them on top by 10. 16-6, 8-14 remaining to go. In first quarter action, Rockets with the basketball. Matt Thomas with the play-by-play. -play. All five San Antonio starters have at least scored a point. Rockets don't have a rebound yet. Strange. Across the timeline comes Jalen Green. Lobs over to Jabari Smith, who gives it over to Aaron Gordon. Cross-court pass left side off to Shingu. Giving it back to Green, left corner, being chased. Down the lane goes JG. Layup attempt is missed. Rebound picked up by Kata Bates-Diop. In front for San Antonio, left side angle, Linkford out to Vassell, missing on the three ball. Rebound picked up by Dre Jones out right side, three point try on the way short. On the shot attempt by Devin Vassell. Back comes the San Antonio's, or the Rockets are down 16 to 6. Jabari left corner for three. Front rim missed. Jabari, like the rest of them, he was really struggling from three. He made up, missed all four of his three-point shots against the Portland. Floater for Trey Jones at the free throw line is missed. Rebound to Alperin and Shingun. Across the timeline comes Kevin Porter Jr. Screen by Jabari, being chased by Lankford. Pick and roll comes to Jabari. Going to go layup, float over the right shoulder, missed the shot. Offensive rebound for Scoot in the paint, puts it in for two. Nice second chance opportunity and a nice offensive rebound. 16 to 8 now. Rockets trail by eight. Yaka Pirtle to the top of the key. Out right side, launching a three-pointer. Trey Jones, Ooh. good. He hits like that, Rockets are in trouble. They're already in trouble. 19-8 to eight as Jones has five to go along with a couple of rebounds. Right side of the floor, it's green in the paint. Up faking his shango into the paint. Goes against Pirtle with a left hand. He'll, scoot. He'll score. He just dug his way in there and dropped it in for the deuce. Sure did. Back comes uh, Trey Jones, bounce pass to a cutter down the lane. Romeo Lankford layup with the right hand on the way. Good left side. They're shooting 62% from the floor on 8 of 13. Across the timeline comes Kevin Porter Jr. Screen is set by Shankoon. Down the lane, scoop with a two hand finish. San Antonio gave up on that play defensively, that's for sure. Jones. There's a free throw line for Katie Bates. Diop, floater from 10, front iron miss, gets his own offensive rebound, missed it. Opportunity rebound on the second time defensively by Kevin Porter Jr. Right side, EG fakes a three to his left for Jalen Green. Green thinking about it. Comes back out near midcourt, top of the key, free throw line, left hand layup, comes off front rim, put back is there. If you don't box that up, Ren Shingun, you're in trouble. Now he loves the gimmies. Rockets shooting 45% from the floor for that series. 538 remaining in the first, 21-14. Jones left elbow, gets turned back out to Vassell. Back to Trey Jones. He wants another three-pointer. That comes off the back iron. Offensive rebound picked up by Pirtle to the tap to Jones. Jones layup on the right hand, left-hand side with the right hand is up and in. Spurs are getting lots of second-chance opportunities. In fact, too many of them. Down the lane goes Scoop. He draws contact. He's got an N1 coming his way. He is not afraid to interrogate the low block for San Antonio, and he did that time with a basket good for the Rockets. That takes the cell with the foul. Excuse me, Matt. That takes some serious athleticism to get that shot up at the very tail end. Usman Garuba, Kenyon Martin Jr. checking in for the Rockets.
The free throw was missed, and it goes out of bounds. Possession to San Antonio. Also, a substitution in for uh, San Antonio. Zach Collins is in here. Backup center to Pirtle. Out to Bates Diop. Low block left into Collins. He'll turn a jump hook from 10. Is no good, but a foul. Slap against the forearm. That's a tough play. Going to his left, using the right hand. And the slap is going to be called against Kevin Porter Jr. Never forget reading in Dennis Robbins' book that he was he was positive that if if uh, Brian was it Brian who was their whole old coach before uh, Greg Popovich? Brian Hill Brian Hill had put him on Hakeem Olajuwon they would have had success defending Hakeem in that that ninety five Western Conference Final and I got news for Dennis I don't think anybody was stopping him in that series free throw for Collins is good seventy three percent on the year also in the line is uh, Malachi Branham, 20th overall pick from Ohio State. Free throws for Collins are good. 25-16, 4.55 remaining until half. The first quarter complete. Scoot to the paint, tries a 14-footer, comes up short. Rebound to Jabari, to the window with a left hand, missing the layup. Another one, tap out. That's ball to San Antonio. I think we're going to get an overturn. You don't see Steven Silas that animated unless he's pretty sure, and they do. So the Rockets will have it with 14 to shoot. Scoot to his right for K.J. Martin, and to his left for Martin to Green. Jalen down the lane, and a blocking foul call before a shot could go up. Come on, Doug McDermott. First person. Dougie McBuckets out of Creighton. Great nickname. I'm not sure he's lived up to it. Um, he's done okay for himself. In college, he did. Yeah. Not a star in the NBA, but certainly a serviceable rotation player. Smith behind him. Scoot's going to try a three pointer. That's off the back iron. Rockets are 0 for 3 from 3 in this first quarter. Sochan behind him. Straight away, three-point try coming up. Back heel miss for McDermott. Rebound picked up at the free throw line by Kenyon Martin Jr. He'll hand it off to Scoot. Scoot down the middle of the lane against Zach Collins. Throws off the back iron. Missed the shot. Ball tapped up a couple of times. Collins lost it. Back in the hands of Jabari. He'll go up in the left hand. Missed the shot. Rebound picked up by Sochan. Jeremy Sochan in front. Bates Diop back to the reverse left. That's on the way and good for Malachi Brandon. An awful sequence for the Rockets defensively. 27-16 with 3.49 remaining. Rockets down by 11. Green left corner. One-on-one going up. Throws up a shot off the backboard. Is he going to continuation? We don't know. What's brighter out there? Jeremy Sochan's hair or KPJ's shoes? Uh, or is it a push? I think it's a push. By the way, it's the fifth foul against the Spurs, so the Rockets will shoot free throws here for the final 342 as Brandon picks up foul number one for him. Stanley Jackson's going to come in here for San Antonio. As soon as uh, Jalen makes or attempts his first free throw. One dribble, launches, connects. 79% for Green this year at the free throw line. And with that, San Antonio calls a timeout. Kind of strange when Pop does it, but he does it here at 342 remaining. One more free throw for Jalen Green. We return. Spurs are up 27 to 17. Timeout brought to you by Corner Extra. Invite you to find your beach. This is Houston Rockets basketball. Memorial Hermann and the Houston Rockets are proud to bring Houston an exclusive first-of-its-kind co-branded partnership. This is the first time a health system and a national sports organization have ever come together to advance orthopedics. From broken bones to joint replacement, the specialists at Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics bring you innovative capabilities for a broad range of medical needs. You can get the same level of unparalleled care as elite athletes. Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics. For more information, visit memorialherman.org forward slash ortho dash rockets. Hey, it's Jan from Toyota, reminding you that Toyotathon is on and here to help make your holidays extra magical. How? Maybe it's driving in a Tacoma in search of the perfect hill to sled down. 
or surprising loved ones in a RAV4 hybrid. You made it! <laughs> and seeing their faces light up when you pull up to their home. Dealer inventory may vary. Current offers on these vehicles end November 30th. Offers are subject to change throughout Toyotathon, which ends on January 3rd. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Toyota, let's go places. This holiday, whether you're... Too. Whether you're baking a pie with fresh cosmic crisp apples like grandma's or ordering private selection cream pies when grandma's pie is all gone, Kroger has fast, fresh delivery and free pickup so you can make holiday meals that bring you all together to create memories that last. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. The sound of an ice cold Corona is music to my ears. Oh, run that back. Dope. Now drop that beat. And hit me with the hook, player. Hey, whatever you do with your fine life, just do you, player. Relax responsibly. Corona Extra Beer, imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. Sign up your kid for the Rockets Kids Club for the 2022-23 NBA season. The perfect gift this holiday season for just $50. Your child will receive two tickets to an upcoming Rockets home game, a Rockets backpack, a hat, socks, dry fit t-shirt, access to exclusive member events, and more. Sign up for the Rockets Kids Club tonight at Rockets.com. The Spurs started out with hot shooting from the outside, and they've maintained that offense here in the first quarter Still pacing with a 10-point lead over the Rockets with 3.42 remaining, 27-17. But Jalen Green's free throw gets it back down to single digits. 3.42 remaining, 27-18. Spurs have seven assists on their 10 made baskets. Rockets have only turned it over one time, which is a good sign. Sochan top to McDermott. Inside to Scott Collins. Shot put from five, front rim miss. Put back by Johnson. No, we got a whistle. And we'll stay on this end of the floor. Tari Eason gets the foul who just stepped in. Brock has still have a foul to give here. McDermott on the inbound. Lob to Collins. One dribble. Hands it off to Malachi Branham. Branham and McDermott. Right elbow jumper coming up. No. Offensive rebound. Pick, picked up by Collins. Straight to Rodman. Rodman, I get call him Rodman. So chance for a three-pointer. <laughs> he looks just like him. Just like him. He's even working on the amount of tattoos he's got. No kidding. So Chan with that missed three. Bounce pass inside. Tara Easton's going to go up for a dunk. He missed it. Beautiful pass from Kevin Porter Jr. I think So Chan actually might have altered that to where the dunk didn't go down because that was a pretty sure thing, and I don't think Tari just missed it. It was a great play by the Rockets, though, to get him loose for that. Free throws for Tari, 86% on the year. And don't look now, Matt, but the Rockets are 0 for 3 from outside. It's not, they're picking up where they left off and not in a good way. Made the free throw there, however, 27 to 19. Rockets 18th in the association at 78%. San Antonio is 29th at 73%. They give up the most points in the NBA. Free throw number two is missed, but an offensive rebound gives the ball to Scoot in the left baseline. Goes to the paint. Up and under against Isaiah Robin. He missed the shot, but he'll get a foul. San Antonio going deep in their bench here in this first quarter alone with 251 remaining. And get yourself a possession or a trip down the floor where you get three points potentially. Scoot to the free throw line. Made seven and nine against Portland, 77% on the year. Rockets have gone two and a half minutes without a field goal. 6-13 the other night against the Blazers was the drought. Yeah. Jeremy Sochan is back in on the floor, and Isaiah Roby's time on the floor was very short-lived.
Hands to Sochan. I think the Rockets are fortunate to only be down six at this point, the way the first quarter has gone, too, because no shots hit from the outside, and the Spurs are getting some cheap baskets. Next to go. Right side of the floor, it's Knicks. Underneath the basket, looks for separation. Pump fakes once, twice. Quadruple team out to Garuba for a three ball. Ooh, that's an air ball. Saved by Martin, it's off the foot of Stanley Johnson. Rockets will have it with nine to shoot. Remember, Garuba's first shot did not hit the rim, so there was no reset. Bob to Eason in the lane, 10 footer, back iron miss. Off the backboard as well. And the rebound secured by Malachi Branham. Branham left side of the floor. Low block left into Sochan. Hands it back out. This is McDermott. Baseline left. Shot attempt from five is missed. Gets his own rebound and puts it in for two. They have a 13-12 advantage in rebounding, but you wouldn't know it because it feels like every time they miss, they've got an offensive board coming their way. Here's each you, the free throw line. In the paint, he goes. Right side angle. 53 seconds remaining. Each you got to step back, launch a three, and hit it. There's your first one in six drives. Eric Gordon with three. Gordon had only five against Portland. McDermott in the low block for Zach Collins. Back to McDermott on the baseline, giving it back to Collins. One dribble goes up, and that's good defense, but a whistle comes against Usman Garuba. Right, 35 points, seven remaining. You're going to have more free throws here from the Spurs. You've already given up 33 in the frame to them. Rockets have gone to the line nine times in the first quarter, made seven. The Spurs are four of six. I think it's now five of seven. I think what's fascinating to me is they've got 34 points, possibly 35 here, and they're only shooting 48%. Here's try two. It's good. Collins makes both. 35, 28, Spurs, 6 of 8 from the line. Next three-point line right. Straight away, lost the basketball, gathered it back. Ahead of the EG. EG floats up the right hand, goes off the front rim, missed it. Rubis tap up is no good, still loose. Only came away with his San Antonio Malachi Branham. Branham across the timeline, looking for separation against Asian Knicks. Screen by Collins. Pick and roll comes to Collins. He lost it. They should mix with a steal. Lead pass out to Easton's too far, and that goes to the turnover as well. So Rockets can't take advantage of the turnover on the other end of the floor. McDermott will inbound here for San Antonio. 2.5 seconds. They got something they can do here. McDermott giving it up. Here's a shot attempt from 60 feet. He's on the way, and Stanley Johnson is only about 20 feet short. That'll end the first quarter of play here tonight from the Toyota Center in downtown Houston. Spurs 35, Rockets 28. Second quarter action is next as you listen to Houston Rockets basketball. What does it mean to be the energy behind Clutch City? At Reliant, it means powering the home of the Houston Rockets and the homes of Rockets fans across our hometown. Reliant is harnessing the energy on the court to power game day. Together, we make a powerful team. Reliant, proud to be the official energy provider of the Houston Rockets. To learn more, visit Reliant.com or call 1-866-RELIANT, PUCT number 10007. <laughs> When it comes to your money goals, every win matters. And with an MVP like Credit Karma on your side, your hard work can really pay off. Whether you're looking to elevate your credit scores, upgrade your car or home, or find the right strategy to pay off debt, Credit Karma is on your team. Join over 120 million members and start leveling up your finances. Download the free app and create your own karma with Credit Karma. Proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Loan services offered through Credit Karma offers in NMLS ID 1628077. Credit Karma.
A participating Toyota dealer for details. Toyota, let's go places. Time now for the Memorial Hermann Health tip of the game. Brought to you by Memorial Hermann Advancing Health, personalizing care. Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the U.S. Do you know how to spot a stroke? Remember, be fast. B, balance loss. E, eyesight changes. F, face droops. A, arm weakness. S, speech slur. T, time to call 911. Memorial Hermann offers the highest level of stroke care in Houston. Visit memorialhermann.org slash stroke for more information. Memorial Hermann, advancing health, personalizing care. Well, the Rockets trailing at 35-28 after the first 12 minutes to the Spurs. Alperin Shingun, KPJ with eight points apiece, but San Antonio hitting five from downtown. The Rockets conversely didn't hit their first until the waning seconds of the first quarter. They were 0-5 to start the game from long distance, and that's a big reason why they've been fighting an uphill battle. But again, Matt, to keep it within seven after the first 12 minutes was Kind of a minor miracle the way things were going at times there in that first frame. Yep, that uh, basket by Eric Gordon coming at 51 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Daisha Nix, left side of the floor, met there by Sohan. Left-hand dribble. Bounce pass, low block left into Shingun. He'll turn against Pirtle, lost the basketball, gathered it back. Posting up against Pirtle. He'll lean in, took an extra step. Foul, it's called, against Pirtle. And uh, should be free throws here for Alper and Shingun. Spurs, meanwhile, started 6 of 8 from the floor in the first quarter. And they only made 6 of their last 18. So they cooled off 2 in the end of the first. I like that uh, Shingun attacked immediately against Pirtle here to start the second frame. Here's Shingun to the line. He's got 8 so far. Mega 9. His free throwers look so much better than they did a year ago. Yeah, he was he, between 68 and 71, and now he's firmly above 80% now at the line. Clearly worked on that in the offseason and continues to do so. Here's the second free throw. Got it. Seriously, it's like watching Dennis Rodman. It's so crazy. <laughs> Sochan across the timeline. McDermott back to Sochan. Left-hand dribble drive. Pump fakes, goes up and lays it in. He got right around Kenya Martin. He said, my bad. Sochan with the basket, giving him now three points. Layup coming up right back. Eric Gorney. has got five now in the first half as he makes that one. BG's played 10 minutes and scored five points. So Sochan fights along the baseline, and he cannot control the basketball. That's a silly turnover for San Antonio. And the Rockets will have it here with 11-15 remaining in the second quarter. Knicks, bounce pass out left-hand side to Eric Gord. EG being chased by Sochan. Screen by Shingun, mid-range jump. jumper comes up short. Eric won a foul call. Didn't get it. Here's Stanley Johnson right down the heart of the lane. Other direction, lays it in for two. Stanley Johnson doesn't score a whole lot, but that bucket there makes it 39-32. Knicks behind to Shingun. Shingun hands it off to Tari Eason. Eason behind the Knicks, cross-court pass out to EG. EG floats, hands it over to Shingun, throws it right over the front cylinder, and drops it in for two. Shingun with 12 already in this first half of play, comes in averaging 14.2. Pirtle hands it to Vassell. Vassell straight away for a three-pointer. Got it. Puts him in double figures with 11. And he's at three of five from long range. So average is 20 points a game. 42-34, San Antonio. Knicks right side to Eason. <laughs> On the baseline, going up, layup attempt. Good move from the right to left baseline for the deuce. Two minutes gone by, out right side. Thinking about a shot attempt. Stanley Johnson's going to draw up a three and hit it. He's got five in a row. I mean, he had all week to sit there and read the label on the basketball. No one closing out. Got to get back in transition. Rockets were slow on that one. 45-36, a nine-point lead. 9.47 remaining in the first half. Knicks into Shingun. Hands it to KJ, and he jams it down with two hands. KJ again, basically, either he dunks it or he tries a three-pointer. Very little in between. Ten, uh, eight minutes and four points for KJ. Down the lane, Sochan off the window, missed the shot. Rebound is loose, finally picked up by Martin. Rockets don't have numbers, he doesn't care. Down the lane, and this blocked from behind by Stanley Johnson. Into the hands of McDermott, left corner. McDermott hands it back over to Vassell. 
Azell. Oh, and McDermott lost his hand. There's a steal for Tari Eason. And that should be a transition take foul. It's a foul occurred in the middle of the court. As Eason could have gone all the way for an easy dunk. Hmm. He's trying to fight to that transition tank. It's Steven Silence, and he's not winning. As Romeo Langford and Katie Beach Diop return for San Antonio. As Silas having an extended conversation with the officiating crew. Nick's on the inbound. Bounce pass to Eric behind him. Back to Shingun. And some Knicks. Top of the key jumper coming up. Good. Rockets now 5 of 7 from the floor here in the quarter. 45-40. Rockets down 5. 850 remaining. Left side of the floor to sell. Lobs it to Pirtle. Back to the cell. Mid-range Jimmy coming up left corner. Missed. Rebound picked up by Dacian. He wants to push. Dacian top of the key in front to KJ. Layup attempt. No. Whistle yes. Oh, foul against San Antonio is going to send Kenya Martin Jr. to the free throw line. Foul is on Kata Bates Diop, his first, third foul. I apologize for uh, finding a terrible cough. So Adam may, may be giving a little bit of defunct play by play if I have to <laughs> spasm out over here. Free throw, no good for KJ. Yeah, it was a 13 foul on the Spurs already, and there's 835 remaining, so keep an eye on that as well. Timeout called by San Antonio's Greg Popovich. We'll take it with him. 835 remaining in the first half. Spurs 45, Rockets 40. Timeout brought to you by Corner Extra. Invite you to find your beach. And now these words from your local station. What does it mean to be the energy behind Clutch City? At Reliant, it means powering the home of the Houston Rockets and the homes of Rockets fans across our hometown. Reliant is harnessing the energy on the court to power game day. Together, we make a powerful team. Reliant, proud to be the official energy provider of the Houston Rockets. To learn more, visit Reliant.com or call 1-866-RELIANT, PUCT number 10007. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tito Beverage, founder and master distiller at Tito's Handmade Vodka. When I got into this business, I used to make flavored vodka infusions for my friends as gifts. When I started to make a go of it, the owner of a local liquor store showed me the dust on some flavored vodka bottles that sat on the shelves. He said, if you can make a straight vodka so smooth that you could drink it just by itself, the start matt thomas as the spurs were hitting from outside early and have been able to kind of keep the rockets at bay but not too much so the rockets can certainly get back into this thing and uh, hopefully take advantage here as the first half continues how about the rockets not taking a three-point shot so far in the first three and a half minutes that may be on the repertoire until some guys start to heat up here's kj for the second free throw it is up it is no good as well Ball tapped around and picked up by the self of the Spurs. Across the timeline comes Romeo Langford. Hands it back to Vassell, who gives it a hurdle. Back to Vassell. Left elbow down the lane. He's going to get an and one on the play. Basket good. And a foul on Alper and Shingun. Foul is going to be called up. I can respect Alpi, but he thinks he's ever committed a foul. Well, it's only no, his first. No NBA player has, to no, be fair. No, that's true. That's true. Green, Porter, and Knicks all coming in for the Rockets. A little bit of a dangerous spot here as Kevin Porter Jr. has those three whistles. The sell at the free throw line. 47-40 San Antonio. This makes it 48. They are 7 of 9 for the line in the first half of play. Sue shooting 52% from the floor. Rockets are 43. Makes three point line right. On a crossover. To the baseline. Hands to Shangun. Goes up. Puts it in for two more. He is just a really solid NBA low post scorer in just his second year. Shangun with 14 now. 48 42. Hurdle straight away. Hands it off to the cell. Chased by Porter. Got to be careful there. Kick it out to 
Sochan, and we're going to get a walking violation called against Kata Bates Dia. The narrative has been in the NBA for two plus months, and I I can respect that they're going to keep calling it. No, it's it, if it's nothing if it's not consistent. But it's still getting used. It's, I'm getting used to it still. Bruno Fernando has come in for Alperin Shengun. 48-42. Bruno in for the first time. Porter, left elbow. Kicked ball. The Rockets all at 14 as Trey Jones returns for San Antonio. And Jeremy Sochan goes to the bench. Hands it off straight away. This is a green three-pointer. That looked good on takeoff, and it went in. A much-needed three-pointer for the Rockets and from Jalen Green, who has really struggled as of late. And we got a foul in front court of San Antonio. And it's on KPJ, and it's his fourth. <laughs> yeah, KPJ has been battling foul trouble all night tonight, and it's crept up on him pretty quick but going back to that shot made by Jalen Green it's not just that the Rockets finally got uh, their second one to drop it's that he got one to drop at all the other night he was 0 for 10 and uh, you just need sometimes one of those to fall and that can kind of get you back on the right track hurdle to his right mm. for Vassell Vassell on a crossover gets a hurdle screen on the trail, it's Jones. Left-hand scoop shot comes up short. KJ, who came in for Porter with the rebound, out in front of Dacia Nix. Has tip toe on the baseline. On the trail, it's Jabari Smith. Jabari with the right-hand floater. Kisses it off the backboard and puts it in for two. Rockets on 11-3 scoring run. They've got more than one at 48-47. Jones, top to Pirtle. Back to Trey Jones. Left side angle. Free throw line to Pirtle from 10. Got it. So Jakob Pirtle now has four points, a couple of rebounds and an assist, 50 to 47 San Antonio. Right side, KJ to Knicks, back into KJ's, and he jam it down right over Devin Vassell with the left-hand hammer. 6.15 remaining until halftime. Jones down the lane, he had stripped. Knicks the steal. Knicks behind the back, giving it right back to Bruno. He'll hammer it down with two hands. And the Rockets have regained the lead at 51-50. Across the timeline comes Trey Jones. The 15-5 run. We got a whistle. <laughs> and there's, a, there's another foul on the Rockets there. But back to Bruno Fernando finally giving the Rockets a lead here tonight. After KJ had already gotten a dunk to go down. So the Rockets, that inside game is going to have to be their bread and butter until more consistent three-point shots fall. Fernando with the foul. Zach Collins comes in for Pirtle. Three-point launch. Bates Diop comes up well short. Rebound to Fernando. Here's Jalen Green right side of the floor. Crossover at the right elbow to the paint. Hands it off. Going back, Fernando. This time he missed the dunk. Rebound picked up by Trey Jones. Jones kicks it out the slump side of McDermott to his right for Bates Diop. Hands back to Jones. He'll launch a three. Back iron miss. Rebound the Dacia Knicks. Knicks across the timeline. Comes left to right. That's how the Rockets run in the second quarter. Martin to his left for JG. Pump fakes a three. Langford all over him. Whistle away from the basketball. <coughs> it's a defensive three-second call. And the Rockets will be the beneficiaries of that technical as Jabari Smith will go to the free throw line. But the fact that the Rockets have taken their first lead and are now looking to build on it after the way this first half has gone is kind of a minor miracle, especially when you consider their outside shooting woes. Jabari hits the first of the technicals. It's a one-shot team technical, make it 52-50 now. So nice to see a big man with touch like that. 83% of the season at the free throw line. And Jabari takes the inbounds. Back to Green. Screen for Fernando. One-on-one against Kata Bates-Diop. In the paint. Try a 10-footer for Jalen. That comes up short. 
Rebound the free throw line by Trey Jones. Jones, right hand side of the floor to Branham, back into Collins, missed the layup attempt of the left hand. It goes out of bounds. He fought with two rocket defenders. He touched it last. It'll be Houston basketball. All right, Rockets finally having some things go their way and again can continue to build on their sudden lead. Two point advantage at 52 50. It's the biggest lead for the Rockets. San Antonio, one point and 11 point lead. Nick, straight away to Green. Screen set by Fernando. Bounce pass into Bruno. Up makes, turns, spins left hand. Got it. Over Zach Collins for the deuce. And how about that it's been Bruno Fernando to kind of edge the Rockets forward here in the second quarter. 18-5 to five run for the Rockets. Brandon left side to the baseline for Jones. Wide open left corner three. Misses it. Rebound picked up in the paint by Jabbar. Back down to Nix. He's going to launch the three. That's an air ball. Saved by Martin, but he throws it right to Malachi Branham in front to McDermott, and he's going to get a goaltending call to Bruno Fernando. Trying for the block, got there just a little bit late. Makes the run 18 7, Houston. I, that Dacian Knicks three was ill advised to say the least. He wasn't even close to the rim. Green wants one three point side, front rim miss, put back is up, and on the way and good for KJ Martin. Leaning the glass. That's what the Rockets have done so far in this first half of play. They've now got 19 rebounds, shooting 48% from the floor and a 56-52 Houston lead. Collins out left side to McDermott. McDermott, right-hand dribble drive. Bounce pass around, and Collins lost it. It's out of bounds. It's a turnover. San Antonio AC has turned it over 10 times in the first half compared to just three for the Rockets. That's why the Rockets have been able to take this lead. And they've given them second chances, and uh, Rockets have been able to turn those turnovers into points. Nine points off of those ten turnovers by the Spurs. They're also crashing the boards hard. They had eight offensive rebounds here in this first half of play. 325 remain. Green, right side angle, down the lane, kicks it out to Jabari. was deflected, tapped, and eventually stolen. Malachi Brandon with the steal. No look past to McDermott. He'll catch and shoot and launch and hit a three-pointer right next to his very happy coach. Has such a gut punch after the type of basketball the Rockets were playing to have that kind of a turnover turn into a three-point shot. McDermott with 10 off the bench here for San Antonio. He's got two three-pointers. Nix in the paint. Brings it back to Garuba. Left side to Martin. Giving it back to Martin. Had to gather the basketball. Throws out the back wall. Missed the shot. Couldn't cleanly take the basketball, but still was able to gather it in time and draw contact. And with that, we get ourselves a timeout. 2.51 remaining until halftime. Spurs trailing your Rockets, 56-55. Timeout brought to you by Corner Extra. Invite you to find your beach. This is Houston Rockets basketball. Rockets fans, need a game day meal? Get Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box for only $23.99. Two medium one-topping pizzas, breadsticks, and choose wings, pasta, or a whole other medium pizza. Pizza Hut, the official pizza partner of the Houston Rockets and the Toyota Center. Prices and participation may vary. Memorial Hermann and the Houston Rockets are proud to bring Houston an exclusive, first-of-its-kind, co-branded partnership. This is the first time a health system and a national sports organization have ever come together to advance orthopedics. From broken bones to joint replacement, the specialists at Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics bring you innovative capabilities for a broad range of medical needs. You can get the same level of unparalleled care as elite athletes. Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics. For more information, visit memorialherman.org forward slash ortho dash rockets. What does optimism look like? It looks like the ball floating through the air, backboard lit up in red, the entire arena holding its breath. You're down two, but you took the three. Some fans can't bear to look, but missing never crossed your mind. You knew it was going in the moment it left your hands. Taking the shot looks crazy sometimes, but it isn't. It's just different, and sometimes that's just the difference you need. Frost, the official bank of relentless optimism and proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Todd thought it would be secure to jog in the cheetah savannah. Todd believed the big cat repellent he bought online was reliable. And now Todd is trying to be faster than this cheetah that can run 80 miles per hour. But the good news is Todd has AT&T 5G. It is fast, reliable, and secure. And he learned the best thing to do is stop running and toss her the backpack with the beef stew. AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. It's not complicated. 5G requires compatible plan and device. 5G may not.
Sports Talk 790, your home for Houston Rockets basketball. 2.51 remaining here in the first half inside Toyota Center. Rockets leading the Spurs. That has not been the case most of the first half, but they currently are clinging to a one-point advantage. 56-55 is the score, pending uh, some free throw shooting here by the Rockets, by the way. Spurs led 45-36 with 9.59 remaining in the second quarter. Since then, it's a 20-10 Rockets run, thanks to 12 for 18 from the floor. They have nine different offensive rebounds, 38 points in the paint so far in this first half as Martin continues to miss free throws, unfortunately. KJ now 0 for 3 at the line. Rockets are 10 of 15, make it 10 of 16 as he misses both. That's certainly not something you would hope for there. Nope, the lost possession. Trey Jones comes across the timeline, 244 remaining in the first. Branham, ball deflected and stolen by Usman Garuba. Nicely done at the free throw line. Hands it back to Smith. Back left hand side over to Martin. To his left for JG. Guarded by Branham on a crossover in the paint. Comes out to the top of the key to the three point line. Shot clock at seven. Trying to look for some maneuvers, and we've got a foul called. And boy, Malachi Branham cannot believe. A foul was called, and you think he's more frustrated because it only had six on the clock and really nothing going offensively for the Rockets. Well, it's good for the Rockets because it stops the clock and it gives them free throws since the Spurs are in the penalty. But unlike last trip to the line for the Rockets, you got to hit both of these. Jalen Green, 16 minutes, three of seven from the floor, nine points, two of two from the line. Here's the free throw. It is up. It's good. Green was only 5-9 and nine from the stripe against Portland. Among the many issues, unfortunately, the Rockets had by not shooting threes. They're only 2-9, for nine, which is great here in the first half. Definitely not a part of their arsenal tonight, that's for sure. Second free throw for Green is up and good. Conversely, San Antonio is 8-18 eight of 18 from three. Jones underhand flips. To them to sell to sell right down the lane, swings a pass, deflected off the hands of Jabari Smith. It'll be Spurs basketball with 13 to shoot. The sell on the inbound. Lobs to Branham. Screen is set by Collins. Bounce pass to Nova. Turnover. <laughs> well, the Spurs are certainly making it easier on the Rockets to at least maintain this lead, building on it to different stories since the Rockets have done their own fair share of turning the ball over of late. 12 turnovers. Here comes Shangoon down the heart of the lane. Missed the layup, and he'll get free throws. But if you're the Rockets, why don't you continue to attack? You're already in the penalty. The Spurs are already in the penalty, and the three-point shot still isn't falling. You're two for nine. Take it inside. I would just feel the big boy that's got the basketball in his hand right now and out in Shingoon. And it's not like Shingoon isn't normally aggressive when he gets the ball on the block or inside the paint or wherever, but he's really going at uh, Pirtle or whoever they put in front of him tonight. Free throw. No. Another miss. Stanley Johnson coming in. The Rockets have now missed seven freebies tonight. Malachi Brandon will go to the San Antonio bench after he hears from his head coach. 157 remaining until halftime. Second free throw, another miss. Well, the Rockets are going to be regretting the free throw line numbers here. Trey Jones across the timeline. <laughs> there by Green. <laughs> McDermott. Top to Collins. Back out to Vassell. Free throw line. 15 footer. Got it. Devin Vassell kind of having to take over the role for Kelton Johnson, who's missing tonight's game with back spasms. He averages 21 points a game. Oh, Vassell's already got 16, so he's doing quite a job. That he is. 58 57, Houston. Shangoon. Hands it off to Green. Another screen from Alpi down the lane, and a pick and roll comes, and the ball is deflected. Last touch out of bounds by Devin Vassell. Everything right now, as long as the three-point shot isn't dropping, should go right around to Alpi Shingun offensively. Pass inside to Jabari Smith. Good pass, too. Doesn't hurt the cause either. Nice dunk off the assist from Dacia Nix, who already has seven assists in this first half of play. That's crazy. 
60 to 57. We get a foul out front. Daisha Nix with a foul. Daisha Nix, that's got to be a career high in assists for him. Seven here with still a minute remaining in the second quarter. Doesn't normally play enough minutes to get seven assists. Got a right guy, the right place, right time guy. Johnson on the inbound. Screen set by Collins. Inside for Collins. Lost it between his legs. Alpi with a steal. Alpi straight away to his right. Daisha wants to score three points. Nope. Offensive rebound to Jabari. Put the ball on the floor. Throws it back up. The back heel and it drops for two more. Jabari Smith has back-to-back baskets. Score now 62-57. It's a Rockets' largest lead of this first half. 42 seconds remaining until halftime. Jones across the timeline. Screen set by Collins. Floats it with the right hand. Jones misses it. One shot now. Here comes Jabari across the timeline. Thinking about a three. Launches a three. Comes off the foot. Iron miss. Rebound to San Antonio. Or comes away to Trey Jones. 18 seconds left to go in the first half. Career high in assists is tonight. It was six. It's now seven for Dacia Nix. Shot clock at six. At five. Screen set by Collins. Trey Jones still has a face of double team. With one, here's a Johnson three-pointer to end the half, and it's up, and it is good. Not only did the shot clock, the shot beat the shot clock, but it went through the twine and ended the first half of play. They'll review it, but I think it's good. And with that, we'll go to the intermission with the Rockets up by two. They'll check the Stanley Johnson three. We'll have clarification on it with Adam Plant next as part of halftime activities. Through 24 at the Toyota Center, Rockets 62, Spurs 60. Halftime, up with AC next as you listen to Houston Rockets basketball. 